Welcome back guys, it's Cryptorako here and in today's video we're going to talk about why Warren Buffett and Bill Gates are wrong about crypto. So we're going to start off by watching interviews of what Warren Buffett and Bill Gates have said about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Then I'm going to tell you why I think they're wrong about crypto. I'm going to use some of the experts on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. I'm going to, we're going to look at their interviews and their articles and their viewpoints and make our decision on why, Bitcoin, uh, why Warren Buffett and Bill Gates is wrong about crypto. Without further ado, Let's have a look at what they've said about Bitcoin. Asset itself is creating nothing. I think it's a scumball activity. I would short it if there was an easy way to do it. Thousand, is it still rat poison? Well, it, probably rat poison squared. Ouch, that didn't sound too good. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm a massive fan of Warren Buffett. I really look up to them and respect Warren Buffett and Bill Gates a lot. I've done a lot of research on Warren Buffett and I've learned a lot from him. And one of the things that he always says is invest in things that you're expert in. Do not touch or invest in anything that you don't know about. So Warren Buffett himself have said, invest in things that you are an expert in. Warren Buffett doesn't understand cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. He said it himself. Why in the world should I take a long or short position in something that I don't know anything about? So he has said it himself that he doesn't understand Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Why in the world is he saying that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is bad, poison squared, rat, um, horrible, he's going to go to zero, his tulip bubble. Why is he saying all of that if he doesn't know what he's talking about? He's dead wrong on Bitcoin because he is totally clueless to the technology. How could someone who doesn't use email possibly appreciate Bitcoin? They can't. Yet years from now when dust settles, Warren Buffett's miss on Bitcoin will be the biggest miss of his career and will make his misses on Amazon and Google look forgivable. So this is the number one reason why I think Warren Buffett and Bill Gates are wrong on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It is because they're not from this generation. They're not, I'm, I'm not using that as an excuse, but they're not clued up on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. They do not understand it well. So how can they comment on something that they do not understand well? So this is the number one reason why I think that Warren Buffett and Bill Gates are wrong about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. I'd just like to show a video to prove prove that this is someone else who shares the same view as myself. The things that um, they have said for years, which I believe. So they, this is exactly what I'm talking about in this video. Is you define a circle of competence and you stay within it. So this is a simple thing that Warren Buffett and Bill Gates preaches. So they shouldn't preach something and not follow it themselves. And I have posted a lot about Warren Buffett and, and sometimes I've, I've been really disappointed because I really respect Warren Buffett but some of the things that he has been come out with is is not very good and, and you shouldn't bash something that you don't know too much about so there's been lots of news of Warren Buffett coming out and something that I've said is you know don't just bash Bitcoin and hate on Bitcoin let us work on it and let us develop because we are at a very preliminary stage on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency Another reason why people, I think they're wrong about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is because Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is is different to any other asset classes. So if, I don't know, if something else fails, like if the, if the housing market crashes, if stock market crashes, Bitcoin might be a great hedge. It makes sense to have a non-correlated hedge. So it's, this is another reason why you should invest in Bitcoin. Even if you uh, invested in stocks and you're scared about investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency because it's a new asset, it's, it is risky. It's very early stage and it could you know, go down to 5,000 or even lower. But if you, it could be a great hedge because if you invested a lot of money in stocks, Forex, um, properties, this could be a great hedge because it is non-correlated. Next it brings me on to what Bill Gates is talking about. Bill Gates is saying, I would short it if there was an easy way to do it. An asset class, you're not producing anything, so you shouldn't expect it to go up. It's kind of pure greater fuel theory type of investment. And this is something um, Warren Buffett have said as well in this interview. Uh, Bitcoin or, or some, some cryptocurrency, you don't really, you don't have anything to produce anything. You're just hoping the next guy pays more. And the next, and you only feel you'll find the next guy to pay more if he thinks he's going to find somebody that, that's going to pay the more. Now, if you ban trading in farms, 
you could still buy farms and have a perfectly decent investment. If you ban trading in, in apartment houses or even in equities, if you ban trading in Berkshire Hathaway for the next five years, our investors would do fine, you know, over time. And, but if you ban trading in tulip bulbs, you know, or if you ban trading in, in some Bitcoin, which nobody knows exactly what it is, uh, people would say, well, why in the world would I buy it? So he's talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin hasn't got a use case and it's not providing value. In a way, he is correct. But you can say that about Forex. When you're trading Forex, it's not really got anything like dollar or pound. It's, it's, it's at basically the value that we put against it. I know it's not as crazy and the fluctuation is not as bad, but dollar is very dollar and pound uh, fiat money has got massive uh, inflation where Bitcoin at the moment is a very early stage, but you'd think that it's is deflationary it's not going to increase it's not just going to print out of thin air so in that sense bitcoin has got a use as in it's a currency you can pay for it it's a payment system and blockchain there's loads of other hundreds and thousands of coins that have got actual use cases uh, vchain is a coin that i talk about a lot icx is trying to build something great ethereum you know there's loads of use cases of ethereum smart contracts people are actually using that technology so one thing that you could talk about it is that um bill gates talked about it before that he likes underlying blockchain technology but he doesn't like bitcoin and icos it is it's more uh, speculative and crazy and he has got a point but to counteract that i'd like to show you this part of this video Enterprise blockchain and private blockchains, I think, are companies' ways of tiptoeing today. And eventually, that will all be pushed to the public chain or the decentralized internet or what we're calling the DNAT. And that needs to have a token. So uh, currently, we are, we are at a very, very early stage. We do not know where how Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are going to play out in the future if there's decentralized net decentralized currency we need a token yes blockchain can be used without a token but the vision of blockchain the vision of bitcoin decentralization is not possible without uh, having a token so in a way i do agree that you know some of the ICOs are scams and blockchain technologies are very is a lot more powerful than the bitcoin and, and icos but we need a decentralized token it could be bitcoin in the future it could be anything else i'm a big big fan of bitcoin and i think it will be bitcoin but it could be something else finally just some news on price bitcoin and cryptocurrency have crashed slightly a lot of people are quoting that it, it is because um, of Buffett and billionaires bashing Bitcoin, but I don't think that's that might have had an effect. But it's just profit taking. We have been in a big rally, so it's not. I don't necessarily think it's down to some of the news that have come out. Um, just to cover up the first point that I wanted to make was that their Bitcoin, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett is wrong about Bitcoin because they're not an expert in it. They do not understand it as well. They should research it, understand it completely and and make a judgment call saying why it is explain it in a bit more detail rather than just saying it's a bubble it's not going to work that's the number one reason next reason why they're wrong is it, even if bitcoin hasn't got a great future you could hedge against it it because it, it, it has the, the the way the public blockchain ledger works it's got so much value it's not just a competitor of gold you can actually use it for transactions so it could be a great hedge against cryptocurrency against other markets like stocks and property and then finally crypto cryptocurrency is 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 new the problems haven't been solved yet we don't know whether which cryptocurrency is going to be the king everyone's trying to work this space out we are at a very early early stage so don't start bashing something people didn't think um apple was going to be um people didn't think apple was going to break blackberry's dominance people thought apple was just a a kids phone no one thought it would be that touchscreen would be that powerful look at what happened to blackberry i could go on about nokia you need to in innovate you need to give it time to innovate and work so that's what i've said in, in my twitter post you know let us work let us develop this space we're in a brilliant stage of technological development and let us see where we can get to let the new guys work on it an 18 year old and a 19 year old would rather invest in bitcoin than in gold and in other uh, other 
types of markets so let us work on it and see what happens so those are the top three reasons why i think bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, sorry why i think warren buffett bill gates and other billionaires are wrong about bitcoin and cryptocurrency i hope you enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and i will be doing a lot more videos on bitcoin cryptocurrency news price predictions technical analysis signals and breaking news and you can even make some money listening to my advice but so thank you very much for watching my video subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family on facebook and twitter and i'll see you guys soon